Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna explain about a formula field. So I'm gonna just uh, let you know what is the business use case here. Uh, if you see here, we have a field called SLA expression date. So right from this SLA expression date, this date currently it's saying October, October 13th, 2021. So I need to calculate number of months from this date till now. So how many days it's been since my SLA got expired? If that's the question. So I need an answer using a formula field. We can build that. I have created a field called months from a date just for our example. So how many months it's been since this? expiration date so it's in october 21 that means november december jan feb march april and we are currently in may so it's been seven months since the, this sla expired so months are seven how did i achieve this this formula field you can just have a look over here so on a high level whenever someone asks we have a particular date field. We need to calculate number of months from that particular date field. So it's been how many months since that date field got created? Okay, so if that's such kind of requirement you got, you might need to configure So if you need to see my the formula of syntax, which I have created months from a date, it's this one. So I'm just subtracting that year of SLA expiration date from the year of today. So year of today minus year of that SLA expiration date, whatever the value we'll get, I'll multiply with 12 since we'll have 12 months plus whatever is the month of today minus month of that SLA expiration date. So if you add this value with this month value, you'll get the yeah, value for this formula field. So let's say in our scenario, year of today 2022 minus year of SLA expiration date was 2021. So one, Two, sorry, 2022 minus 2021 is 1 into 12, 12 plus month of today is 5 since it's May minus month of SLA expiration date was in October. So 5 minus 10 <clears throat> is minus 5. So we have 12 plus minus 5. So it's 7. That's how we got the 7 value. Uh, where is that? I'm sorry. Yep, this seven value. So this is how we calculate months from a specific date field. If you need <clears throat> number of months from that specific date field, so you can achieve using this kind of formula. Hope that helps. <clears throat> Thanks for watching my video.